Well, good morning and welcome to the Labor Labor Day edition of Daryl Lorette Cafe. I'm your host, Daryl Lorette. Well, I have been up now for a little while, about a about an hour, I guess, and I just uh, put together my breakfast, and I'm sitting down and uh, having breakfast with you on this Labor Day Monday, September the 6th, 2010. Whoa, that's good oatmeal. So what plans do we have today? What exciting activities have you on your schedule? for this Labor Day Monday. I think the druggies next door to me finally moved out yesterday. Good riddance. They were making my life a living hell. You know, if I could just live someplace where everybody was nice and uh, wasn't doing any drugs or anything bad, wasn't trying to make my life a living hell, I'd be a lot happier. I don't know how anybody can support an industry like the drug industry, which really doesn't give a rat's ass about anybody. You know, these people are owed bottom line to, to, to make money and to, uh, to, to, to screw you. I mean, the drugs that they're selling you are going to screw your head up so bad that you're going to wind up in a, men a, men a mental institution. You smoke enough marijuana or you do enough coke. And you're going to wind up so screwed up that um, you know that you're going to be diagnosed with a mental illness. At Paris Hilton, she's such a hypocrite. She's tweeting and she's blogging. I love you. Life is so great. Oh, it's so wonderful. La di da, la di da. You know. And she's probably thinking about all the money she's got while she's snorting coke and smoking marijuana in the back seat of the car. She's a joke. I don't know how anybody like that becomes famous. It's it's pathetic, you know. Some people spend years hard work acting and earning earning their way into the business. Someone like that comes along, you know, makes a goddamn porno and then, you know, becomes famous. I could make a porno. Would make me famous. But because she's such a whole pro, uh, high profile personality, that whatever she does, especially if it's something infamous, there's a lot of attention drawn to it. And, and some people like it. Some people like the, uh, the quote unquote uh, outlaw. The, they probably think of her as a. Uh, a folk hero or something along those lines. Robin Hood and his band of 
marionettes. My advice to you, Paris Hilton, is to forget about being a party girl anymore. Go straight and uh, see if you can find the Lord before he finds you. Or maybe get into some of that uh, wacky stuff that Shirley MacLaine uh, endorses. Maybe aliens from another planet or something like that. Because let's face it, Paris Hilton is probably an alien from another planet. She ain't doing you any, she ain't doing you any favors. She ain't doing me any favors. She's not paying any of my bills. You know, I'm probably paying her fucking bills. Anyway, I digress. Well, it's starting off to be a fine Labor Day. Actually, I'm just kind of goofing around here, joking around even. You know, don't take anything I say seriously. My God, if you do, you're going to be in for a world of hurt. I love Paris Hilton. I saw a picture of her that I blogged on my blog one day. She was someplace over in Europe or France or someplace over there. She looked absolutely fabulous. I say, listen, Paris. You gotta do the, if you gotta do the, the pot and, and the coke and the stuff like that. Don't get caught, stupid. You know. You don't need that kind of publicity. It's just gonna draw a lot of a negative attention. It's gonna draw a lot of a negative attention to you. Well, it's a bad press. You already spent time in jail. We're forced to eat bologna sandwiches. I mean, do you want to go back to that? I'm on your side. Listen, I've had my problems with drugs. Not as probably as much as you, but I got through it, you know. I had to do some crazy things to get through it. I mean, I had to join a religious order and get some serious, serious help from some very professional people. But, uh, you know, I stayed out of the uh, Betty Ford Clinic, if you will, and uh, I got the help I needed, and uh, eventually uh, I kicked the habit, and uh, I am the fine citizen that you see before you today. So I, if I can do it, so can somebody like Paris Hilton. Cause she got all the financial support. I don't have not even near the amount of financial support that she has backing her up. And, uh, you know, you don't need money to uh, kick the habit of using drugs and stuff like that. She actually denied that the coke in her purse was not hers, despite the fact that her credit cards were in the goddamn purse. I mean, give us a break. We're not that stupid, Paris. Anyway, we're running out of time, so we'll see you later on. Bye for now.